turn in my life recently just went through a challenging time having spent oh 20 years or more maybe maybe 12 years somewhere in that range anyways a lot of years working for a company and pretty much established themselves and was with this company for a long time and I'm sure planned on being with the company for the rest of their life the person was laid off fired maybe I'm not sure but the point being is that the person is no longer working there so I've seen how when I was living in Oregon when I first went to Oregon there was a huge number of lumber mills and everyone that worked at the lumber mill or worked out a mill made lots of money they had so much money they didn't really know what to do with it they would spend it lavishly they would buy huge houses they would you know do all kinds of exorbitant things as far as vacations were concerned and they just did all kinds of things that you know they thought was fun to do and I remember that and I remember thinking wow if I could only get a job at a mill you know and I had had lots of jobs in my lifetime and worked different varieties of jobs because quite frankly I didn't think that it was a bad thing to move on to another job or to change jobs then at one point in time it became almost like a pariah if you had too many jobs on your resume so you had to kind of like not put them down <laughs> well eventually in Oregon they shut down the mills there was no longer demand for wood wood became purchased overseas it was easier to process it from overseas than it was to do it locally in Oregon and so slowly but surely all the mills shut down and the state basically went broke because it refused to get involved with international business and it had taxes weird situations and no taxes and I remember going and always staying broke when I lived in Oregon and no matter what job I went to I just could never make any money there so eventually I moved out of the state and wound up working in Alaska and California and Nevada and all kinds of different states and kind of enjoyed you know making money you know it was fun but I never got my identity wrapped up in my job I never stayed you know like 10 years or 20 years at a job and I really don't know what that's like you know it's like I know a lot of people are devastated by that because they get their livelihood their joys their their personality all wrapped up in one position well I see that okay if that one position is being a Christian because you see that should be where our personality and our soul comes from but a lot of men and women get caught up in this worldly job thing where they only are who they are as long as they're working at their job what they think they know to do the only thing they think they know to do little do they realize that sometimes God takes you out of one position in order to teach you something better in a different position that you could learn something more if you were in a variety of positions and I kind of enjoyed that in my life you know the fact that God always seemed to move me on from glory to glory teaching me to move from one type of job to another type of job with different responsibilities and different ministry so to speak that I would learn and incorporate in my life as it changed my personality and it made me more tenderized towards other people that were caught up in different situations and circumstances so I was thinking of my wife's friend you know who had been working at that one position for so long and had made so much money that I'm sure they're going to go back into the same field but I remember watching my wife one time when she worked in a different field she really enjoyed it she was like manager in a grocery store and she was kind of like in charge and you know people looked up to her and she had people working for her and it was like a whole different person you know and then being back in the corporate world you know she's kind of you know not quite so you know she still has a crew under her so to speak because she's an administrative assistant but does scheduling but the point being is that each time that you work or you are involved in some different sphere of influence you change a little bit you adapt you become adaptable to that that job environment those circumstances that God has placed you in the same thing is true when you go through seasons you adapt to them 
you learn in the summer to slow down because it's too hot to take off some of that heavy clothes to wear less clothes because it's hot and your blood dims because it adapts likewise in the winter you learn to put on clothes and you could probably do more physical hard labor because you know you don't sweat as much and you you kind of like are able to convert up energy from your fat that's accumulated you know and to, to keep it stored inside for warmth and God does that in our life you know throughout our life as Christians we're supposed to be adaptable we're supposed to be malleable he wants to be the potter and make us the clay so that he can form us into whatever he chooses so we need to be yielding to that because a lot of times that's what's going to happen in life you're going to wind up losing your job you're going to wind up losing your spouse maybe or your pet dog or a cat or a child or a loved one and it's all the same really as far as God's concerned it's all created he created it all he understands where you're coming from because he was a human being at one time as the form of Jesus and he still is and is able to be aware of our feelings and our sensitivities as he has those same feelings but he's also God so he goes so much more so than we could ever feel or imagine so he understands us but sometimes we don't understand ourselves and worse off we don't understand himself so that's why we need to really get closer to God and let him change us and make us into the image of what he wants us to be so don't resist God if he chooses to go in a different direction if you're going in one direction he says now I want you to go the other direction I know you've been in charge but now I want you to serve I know you've been the head honcho now I want you to be you know the servant of all I know you've been making so much money I now want you to be poor so that you might touch others with the reality of knowing that it doesn't matter whether you are based or whether you're bound in all things to give thanks and I think God delights in us when we allow him to change us any way he wants to when we're willing to say you know Lord I don't know what to do but I'm gonna let you do it I don't want to be in charge I want you to take charge I don't want to be the one who makes the decisions I want you Lord to make the decisions for me the eyes all we like sheep have gone astray if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us there is none righteous no not one there is none that understands they are all gone out of the way they are together become unprofitable yea we as sheep going astray but now are turned and returned unto the shepherd and bishop of our souls I have gone astray like a lost sheep seek thy servant for I do not forget thy commandments he restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand what man of you having a hundred sheep if he lose one of them does not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it circumstances when you get challenged like that when you lose your job sometimes you lose your faith sometimes because you attach so many things to it you kind of lose your way you kind of feel like you're lost without an anchor you're you're you don't have faith anymore you don't have a God because you really didn't know how much your job meant to you you didn't really plan out the idea that you know what you could wind up losing that security that you had placed in all of your vocation and maybe you can't do that anymore maybe you're like some person who's lost a limb or lost an arm or lost a, like I did you know lost all mobility for a while and maybe you've been facing death at some point in time the reality of it is is that that's not important really because you see God is going to save you for eternity he's not caring about the individual circumstances of just today he's planning your future for the rest of eternity so if you go through some momentary affliction even death it's not that big a deal honestly 
when you look back on it from eternity's side, you'll say, that was momentary fleeting, and it passed by so fast. What was I thinking of? Why was I concerned? And that's what Jesus wants us to know, is that, hey, don't be so carried away by the world and its ways, but be caught up in the reality of knowing that He cares for you. He holds you in the palm of His hand. He loves you. And that irregardless of if you've gone astray, or if you've lost your way, or you've lost your job, or you've lost your anchor, or you've lost your faith, God has not. God never leaves you, nor will He forsake you. He will bring you again home unto Himself. He will love you with an everlasting love. And with loving kindness, He will draw you unto Himself. Though you may go your own way temporarily, in eternity, <laughs> have faith that Jesus Himself will walk where you are, will talk with who you are, and be with you right now no matter what you are and where you've gone, even if you made your bed in hell, God is there. So He's here, and He's speaking, and He's talking to you. So no matter if you've fallen away, or you've backslidden today, or you're beginning to slide away, just recognize and know that God is the one who causes you to be made perfect. God is the one who will draw you unto Himself to love you. God is the one who holds you always and holds your heart carefully and tenderly when it's time will bring you back into the fold if you have gone away. <laughs> and we've all done it. So don't think you're alone. You're not the only one that's ever backslid or fallen away. I have, and many others have. And likely, many will still do that. But don't lose heart or lose hope and don't condemn them but rather pray for anyone that you know that may have gone off on their own. Pray for them and just love them because that's the way Jesus is. And I can tell you, that's the way Jesus has been all along with you. He loves you.